satisfied. The smell of your perfume is floating down the stairs. You're fixing up your hair like you do. I know that I'll be a mess the second that I see you. You won't be surprised. It happens every time. It's nothing new. It's always on a night like tonight. I thank God you can read my mind. 'Cause when you look at me with those eyes, oh, I'm speechless, staring at you, standing there in that dress. What it's doing to me ain't a secret. Cause watching you is all that I can do, and I'm speechless. You already know that you're my weakness. After all this time, I'm just as nervous. Every time you walk into the room. Something to me, and I've been in a daze ever since the day that we met. You took the breath out of my lungs, can't even fight it, and all of the words out of my mouth without even trying. And I'm speechless, staring at you, standing there in that dress. What it's doing to me ain't a secret, 'cause watching you is all that I can. Time you walk into the room, I'm speechless. Yeah, baby. It's always on a night like tonight. I think God, you can. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Before we get started, I would like to thank each and every one of you for making the trip. You're all here because you represent someone very special to both Nikki and Ashley individually and as a couple. So we, on behalf of Nikki and Ashley and their beautiful families, we say thank you for joining us on this wonderful day. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Nikki and Ashley in the union of marriage. Marriage is a union of heart, body, and mind. It is intended for their mutual joy, health and comfort given to one another and prosperity and adversity alike. Through marriage, Nicholas and Ashley make a commitment to one another to chase their dreams, 
face their disappointments, and accept each other's failures and realize their hopes. Nikki and Ashley will make a promise here and now to, to, <clears throat> to aspire to these ideals throughout their lives together through mutual understanding, complete openness, and sensitivity to one another. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with the deep realization of the journey they are to embark on. Throughout this journey, cherish goodwill right and left, early and late, without, without hindrance and without stint. Be free of hate and envy while standing, walking, and sitting down. Whatever you have in mind, the rule of life is this, always be a loving kind. Love each other vigorously and wholeheartedly, but be sure not to miss everything else in life that matters, like trust, responsibility, taking the weight for your choices and feelings and spending the rest of your life living up to them, and above all, never hurting the object of your love. Because we, unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives and in its train come ecstasies, old memories of pleasure and pain. Yet, if we are bold, love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity in the flush of love's light. We dare to be brave and suddenly we see that love costs all we are and all will ever be. Yet it is love which sets us free. I would like to take a moment in the ceremony to honor your mother and father from both sides. For without them, this day may, may have never come to fruition. For it was through them that you first felt what it was to be loved unconditionally and loved in return. It was through them you were passed on their best qualities and most important life wisdom. And it was through them that you, you were provided with happy homes and a golden standard of what it is to be husband and wife. So Rennie, Kathy, Dino, and Yvette, we say thank you for showing us the way. Now, back to this beautiful couple right here. Nikki, the brotherhood you and I share goes back to our childhood playing Little League Baseball together, all the way through high school and even college. Side by side all those years, I'm in your debt, for through your own actions, you truly pushed me to be an honest, hardworking man, all in and dedicated to every single thing that I do. And for that, I love you, my brother. Ashley, since your first date with Nikki, the warmth and energy you brought with you was something so natural it felt that you had been there for just as long. In no time at all, through your authenticity and one-of-a-kind sense of humor. <laughs> you really have a super goofy <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Always seeing the positivity in every situation, you proved to be my best friend and most trusted confidant. I count my blessings and lucky stars for the day that Nikki brought you into our lives. You both have been there for so many important moments in my life, both good and bad, front and center cheering me on with your undying support and friendship. So when you asked me to officiate this wedding, I jumped at the opportunity to usher you into this new chapter of your genuinely unique love story. You are my dearest friends. You are my family. There is no limit I would not go to for you. You are the best people I know, and there's no one more deserving of this monumentous day. Watching your relationship grow and flourish over the last several years has been such a blessing. You have been my greatest teacher of what it truly means to love your partner with all your heart and soul. Through trust, patience, Sacrifice, dedication, and passion. You two possess a love so pure and so rare, it goes beyond lifelong. Multiply it by infinity and take it to the depth of forever, and most will still understand barely a glimpse of what bonds you two as one. The bride and groom have each prepared vows they will now read. Ooh, okay. You know that I've dreamt of this day since I was a little girl, and I remember having dreams wondering who I'd marry. Nicholas, you have exceeded everything I ever thought a man should be. I could not have dreamt of a more loving, hardworking, loyal, and pure man than you. And I'm so blessed that you're the one standing in front of me right now. God worked overtime on you, and I'm honored to have you in my life, let alone as my husband. I wish just one person can feel what it's like to be loved by you because it's something so damn unexplainable. I wouldn't want to have experienced what we've been through with anyone else. It's something only you and I can understand. I remember the night you told me that you loved me for the first time and I was so scared to say it back. It took me months to respond to your I love you <laughs> because I was so scared to not be loved by you in a way that my dad has always taught me. And that was the biggest mistake of my life because your love is the rarest love that I know. 
I've never felt more safe than in your arms. I promise to never judge you, but instead stand by you in every decision that you make. As your wife, I promise to love you with every ounce of my heart. I promise to protect you and always be your best friend. You encourage me and you love me relentlessly and you never judge me and I promise to do the same. I promise to never give up on us and to stand by your side through every obstacle life throws at us. I promise to allow you to continue to grow into the amazing individual that you are. You have accepted me more than anyone ever has and I promise to love you more each day, even in the hardest of times. I promise to always support you no matter how tough our days get. And I promise to never take our love for granted and to always appreciate you and what we have. Nikki, you've made me the best person that I've ever been. You're my best friend and I cannot wait to start this new chapter with you. I want you for the rest of my days. I love you. I just want to kiss you right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Ah, all right. Let's, let's see if I can get, get through this. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Full disclosure: this has been the most nervous I've been in my entire life, <laughs> and it's not because we're deciding to spend the rest of our lives together. Because I made that decision years ago. It's because. When I was writing my vows, I realized that no words can truly explain the way that I love you and that you just make me the happiest person in the world. But I'm going to try. When I first met you, you captured me with your overwhelming beauty. And shortly after that, you became my best friend. Even from the first few times we hung out, I knew you were something so special, so unique. I knew I had to have you. From all the long talks that we had, the laughs that we shared, and the fact that you and I had the same exact taste in music, I knew that you were my person. Seven years later, I stand here in front of you, the luckiest man in the world, because I never in a million years thought that I'd be marrying someone so beautiful, so loving, so funny, so intelligent, and so perfect. So thank you for all the love and joy you bring into my life and for choosing to spend this life with me. Ashley, I want you to know that through anything that life may throw at us, I always got your back, I promise. You have nothing to worry about ever. I'm always gonna be in your corner. If you are down, I promise to be there to lift you up. If you are scared, I promise to be there to comfort and protect you. I promise to never forget your shade of makeup, <laughs> your favorite snacks, or your Chipotle order. <laughs> I promise to be by your side through all the life's adventures, because no adventure would be worth doing without you. I promise that every part of my body and soul will be dedicated to you and only you for the rest of our lives. I promise to love you passionately fiercely, unconditionally, for the rest of my life. And I promise that when this life is over, my soul will continue to follow you everywhere you go, because this lifetime would never be enough time with you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and now, Nicholas, do you take Ashley to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, forsaking all others and holding only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and Ashley, do you take Nicholas to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. Nikki and Ashley will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. These rings are a precious metal 
They mark the beginning of your lifelong journey together. Your wedding rings are a circle symbolizing infinite love. It is the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Nicholas, please place the ring on Ashley's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, I have chosen you, above all else, above all else, with this ring I thee wed, with this ring I thee wed. And Ashley, please place the ring on Nikki's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, that I have chosen you, above all else, above all else, with this ring I thee wed. Ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. <laughs> <laughs> to make your relationship work, it will take love. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged here today. And lastly, it will take loyalty to go forward together without complete certainty of what the future may hold. But take solace and unbridled joy in the blessing that whatever hardships life may throw at you, for better or for worse, you will face them together now and forevermore. And now, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of California, it is my honor and privilege to declare you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Casares. Yeah. <laughs>